Well, it's normally quiet here around the matter, um, but I thought I'd share this since it's a, it's a holy week this week. As you can see, every restaurant is full. Um, this is 99% tourists. Hardly anybody is here around the rest of the year. Um, where the kids are playing, the amusements are there. The beach has got people on it. It's pretty busy here all over. Um, I thought it will be up today so you can have a play in the, in the park. The kids have been getting over a fever which everybody seems to have had. Some people have had it worse than others. It's given them the, uh, the, the drops or as they say in the Philippines, uh, LVM. But here, the, um, yeah, I mean even some of our relatives come over. Um, went back went back to the UK the other day. I've also had the bug even though they were here for only a week. Um, everybody at the school had it to the point that Obi's class size was about a third of the size it should have been due to the amount of kids that were up six. Here he is. What do you, did you want to do a YouTube for your channel? Okay, go on then. Will be wants to be videoed up on the uh, shot. That's the thing here with the kids. The, there's a lot for them to do, and it's 27 degrees today. Even though it's a little bit windy. <laughs> um, but there's a. Another thing I do like about YouTube, it's very useful for sending videos and stuff back to family. Um, because it's a medium that's accessible. Because uh, I find like Skype uploads, for example, I was talking to Peter from Germany, he's actually up in Bogo at the moment. And I, the last five didn't go through, and I assumed they had, so he probably thought I was ignoring him until I realized none of the videos had actually been sent. Um, where at least with YouTube, you know they've uploaded, you just send a link and they're fully viewable for families. Also, you can leave stuff unlisted, so you can just send them the link or private. It's up to you, but yeah, it's quite good for family. This is our little contraption. Uh, it's a little um, two-seater trailer for the kids. Uh, we're trying to get away from being on four wheels down to cycling around. Um, we bought a set of scales this week as well, so in April we're going to be doing some uh, weight loss. Uh, just wait for the kids, like I said, the kids are just recovering from this fever. So I'm hoping we'll get down to the museums and stuff down in Corobeta this week, but ideally I want to try and get down to Mercia as well. And we didn't film a lot down there last time, but. I'll take a row of the seats out in the van so the stuff for the kids to do if they get bored, etc. That's pretty much it. What about my work stuff? The work stuff's starting to come together. I can't really say much at the moment because something's happened in the last two days which may actually be the income I've needed. Um, but also it may open up the call centre in the Philippines as well. But I can't really talk about it until it's all up and running. Um, it's like, don't, don't count your chickens till they hatch. So there's opportunities there. I think if this actually bears fruit, worst case scenario, I should be making my budget for here. Best case scenario, I could be making an extra four and a half thousand pounds a month in the Philippines as well. So we'll wait and see. Uh, I'll cut this one short because it's quite noisy here today. Thanks for watching.